Speed metal band Megadeth is putting the finishing touches on its next album called Countdown to Extinction. It's the band's first ever since outspoken frontman Dave Mustaine became a father and since the band has taken serious steps to address drug problems within its ranks. We recently dropped by a Los Angeles recording studio to check out the new grown-up Megadeth and here's what we found. On stage and in the studio, Megadeth is banging heads better than ever. But in their private lives, the band's members' heads are turned towards the details of maturing. Dave Mustaine had a major dose of adult reality in February with the birth of his son. When he first came in, I was going, praise Ja, I have a son. And he has all his fingers and toes and, and all this stuff. And he had blue eyes and red hair. I mean, I don't know how long the blue eye bit will last. He'll probably end up being bloodshot like his old man's. But... Megadeth revealed that in the interest of keeping the band together, they have been involved as a group in group therapy for the last three years. They say their counselor has definitely had an effect. Yeah, this guy um, helped, basically helped us, like, start talking to each other again. I mean, a lot of, so many things had come between the whole reason we had gotten together, which was to, to play music and to have this band. You know, there had been so many things between all of our, our partying and our drug use and abuse and da-da-da and this and that and material things and... And, and we just lost so much focus on, on where we were going. While the band has had its share of problems related with drugs and continues to deal with them, they say that's not what their therapy is about. Marty doesn't have a drug problem. Nick doesn't really, you know, think that he has a drug problem. You know, I have a serious drug problem. It's not about the drugs that we have this counseling. It's about interaction between us and, and keeping it a unit where we have a lot of communication. Drugs may no longer threaten their band, but experience leads them to believe that a lot of breakups of other acts may well be due to chemical abuse. Drug addiction is an occupational hazard. That's all there is to it, you know? And, and that's why I see these other bands that are like losing their members and they're kicking people out and this and that. And no doubt, a lot of it has to do with people can't keep their own personal habits under control. Less fans think all this sober talk about children, relationships, and the evils of drugs indicates the onset of Mellow. Don't expect any easy listening music from these guys. Megadeth is scheduled to release Countdown to Extinction later this spring with its first single entitled Symphony of Destruction. They won't tour until the fall, though. They want to use their new insight to enjoy the moment. We're going to be able to time this right so that we're going to be able to take advantage of our lives right now and realize and sit back and enjoy what we did because we never really had a chance to sit back after the last project. As soon as it was, it was in the can, we were in the bus, you know? And there's nothing worse than sitting in a bus with four dudes fighting over a stinking Nintendo machine in the back. <laughs> The new Megadeth album, Countdown to Extinction, will be out later this spring. 